and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel, and it is Friday, which means it's time for another first crack at an indie RPG. And yes, it has been a while. This week, we are looking at Witch Sayer Genesis by Nice Dev. I'm going with Nice for now. I forgot it, we will hear the name in the game. Uh, this game is going to be fully voice acted. Right now, not all of it is. Those lines are getting added over time. But yeah, let's go do things. Visitors. All right, that's my cue. Whoa, you took out all those guards already? I didn't. Then who did? Oh, don't act so surprised. This is a grand social occasion. Wouldn't it be for the best if we kept distractions to a minimum? So you're telling me she... You bastard! How could you do something like that? First him, and now your own subordinates? When will it end, Niagara? Wait. Oh? Observe. With that out of the way, all that remains of a centuries-long line of failure and utter defeat is you. Witch Selea, allow me to do you the honor of escorting you and your brethren into the afterlife. I hope you're well prepared. Sometime earlier. Who could that be? Alucard! Wake up! We're gonna be late! Never mind. It's not him again, is it? That's right, you can get some stuff by just looking at things, and I don't remember what, it's, what all they are. I did play this off camera a couple days ago. I Let me double check real quick, because some of the voices are not... Yeah, I've got the stuff where the voices would be is turned up. Um, yeah, I normally don't do this in the middle of a thing, but I want to make sure the voices are being heard. There we go. Okay. Let's see, what else can we get? Uh, we got wood from the barrels. These are all storage barrels. Okay. I don't remember all the things we can interact with. I know that there are some. Hurry up and get dressed. Get dressed? Get dressed for what? You haven't heard? Cassette said she needs something from the plague forest. You know, the farm girl. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. What does she need this time, Seraph? I don't know if I heard. She said she needed some of that poison water. That icky water in the forest. Yeah, but you don't have to remind me about it. Everyone already knows about the stuff. Anyway, she had a couple of her friends fill up some bottles for her. And she wants us to bring them back to her. Who in their right mind would go into that part of the village anyway? But then again, she's our village farmer. So this could have something to do with her crops. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Are you ready to leave? Sure. If you ever get lost, there are signs to help you find your way around the village. There are signs, and I do like signs. A new quest has been added. You can manage your quest from the journal option in the menu. Yes, you can. Um, I'm going to do this again. Let's. Let's tone down the music a little. I do enjoy the music, but I seem to remember it was Sarah's lines in particular are a bit quiet. Hopefully this is still okay. We get more wood. I know we can't go into that house. There's uh, some other stuff we can do. There will be side quests and things. Let's see. Let's let's check the journal real quick. Uh, just I began to relax, Seraph came knocking on the door. We need to go to the Plagued Forest, right. And I remember where that is. The signs are cool. Uh, it's Story of Plateau, a Story of Shores, but as you can see, they don't tell you how to get to... Well, they'll tell you what is next to you, but not beyond that. Like, this is the direction we need to go to get to the forest. But it would be nice if the signs had, like, a little bit more than that. Can I do anything with the mushroom? No. Okay. Ooh, there's more apples down here, though. 
apples are healing items, and I love free healing items. I've ever told you how much I hated it here. I always feel like I'm being watched. It's probably all the snakes. Yeah, could be. They're really venomous, so I'd be careful around them if I were you. I will do my best. Hey, did Cassette send you? Yeah, you have the bottle, don't you? I sure do! Be sure not to inhale this stuff, okay? Don't tell me how to have a good time. Um, we can hop across things, which I always enjoy. Come on, you are not cooperating. We'll go up here for a minute. Uh, mana stuff. That's always good. You are dressed like Misty a little bit. Mommy said I should go play, so I'm here catching butterflies for her. Why'd you choose to gather butterflies in a place like this, Annabelle? I don't know. The prettiest ones always come from this part of the forest. That is such a cute voice. I dig it. Um, I like cute things. Don't judge me. That, I am not 100% behind the uh combat is very sudden when you go into a new area and it's it's also a bit loud and screen flashy it's not the worst um let's see you don't have any skills yet but it feels like there's no warning that combat is about to happen until suddenly ah, there it is um let's see you can attack and I think that's all you can do. Also, I will check. I will try hitting all of the buttons the next time my turn comes around. Ow. <laughs> that, was, that was damage. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way to just, like, cycle between... Oh, wait, you don't need to do that. Um, you can't attack from there. Whatever. It would be nice if there's a button to cycle between people. I don't know if there is on the keyboard. I'm using a controller. Ooh, and that is a loud fanfare thing at the end. Is that all the bottles we need? No, there's another one north of here, I think. Let's not keep them waiting. Then we will try that. Uh, we cannot go that way. And I know this is not north, but we explore. We explore a bit. At least, I'm going to try to get a bunch of free stuff. There are side quests and things in this game. I should have seen if I could pick one up because it, it happens in here. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do all of the side quests. Ugh, my whole body's aching. Hey, you there. Are you here to give me a hand? You bet! Ain't that good news. Hold this for me, would you? You'd be doing me a huge favor. Yeah, that voice line is also fairly quiet. Got a couple shields, though. Is that everyone? Yep. Thanks for the help. Great. Now let's get out of here. All we have to do now is bring the stuff to Cosette. If I remember right, she should be up in the Astoria Farms, west of the village square. A new quest has been added, but before we go questing, we equip our new stuff. Put on the shield. Uh, can I? I can switch people using a bumper thing. Cool. And it does also, if you switch your formation, that should do it. It will switch which person is on the field. I don't think it actually does anything. I can't remember if it does anything. There's no, like, field actions or anything. Which I'm thinking about because of the Breath, Breath of Fire 3 playthrough. But I don't think there's anything like that. Not that I can remember offhand. Oh, come on. I am still terrible at running between things, though. Hello. One day I'd like to be a farmer, just as good as Cassette. I believe in you. Hmm, what should I do today, I wonder? Probably nothing. <laughs> that sounds good. I would like to be able to do that. Hey, do a girl a favor, would you? Okay, sure. Wonderful. What do you need help with? My sister is being a real jerk. Okay. But you don't get it, do you? She met this new Valencian guy and she's head over heels for him. We have plenty of nice guys here in Astoria. Why does she have to go off with some rich snob? 
I really don't understand what you want me to do here, lady. I'm going to be baking them a cake, you see. I'll say it's from her new lover. It's absolutely delicious. But this cake will be laced with poisonous berries from the plague forest. Go gather me a few. I'll make it worth your time. Okay, new quest added. That one I will do. I do believe we need to go back into the forest anyway. Well, do believe. I know for sure we're going to need to go in there more than once. This is an item shop of sorts, amongst other things. Hello. I like rare and unique items that aren't usually found here in Astoria. Apart from my wife, this place brings me happiness. Of course. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, I think is the correct answer. We have 20 apples, so I think we're good on anything that's going to be related to health stuff. And I don't think we really need any other things, but yeah. I don't know why we can buy a salmon. Maybe that's for something later on. Come again. Absolutely. Can we steal this too? Ah, oh, yes. This is a story of pride and joy. Bounty hunters eat this meal before they dance with death. Speaking of, these are things that we can use. And I'm going to, well, Alucard's our main character, so I'm going to put stat stuff on him. Um, but yeah, there are things I, I'm fairly certain. I, did I check that for sure? I think I did. That uh, they give you permanent stat boosts, and there will be ways to get a hold of those. Uh, later on, we'll be able to craft them. Meanwhile, I'm just going to do... There we go. Do that while I'm thinking about it. Get him healed back up. Oh, it's you guys. You have those bottles, don't you? Yeah, but what are all these books for? Oh, these? These are all books on the story and history. I'm trying to figure out what kinds of crops grow best here, given the unique type of land our village has. Do they explain why the forest is such a mess? I'm not sure. There's so many that I'm sure to find something on it eventually. Oh, my head hurts just thinking about all the reading I gotta do. It must be all this poison water you've been breathing in. You need to learn how to take it easy sometimes. When you're one to talk, you're always helping Seraph when he gets into trouble. Oh, you're right. Maybe I will take a breather. Would you like us to get something for you? Can you really do that for me? Gladly. Is there anything in particular you'd like? Hmm. A wellness tonic would do wonders right about now. It's a brand spanking new drink that the Valencians shipped to us. Trust me, I'd get one myself, but as you can see, I'm stuck. There's a tonic shop just south of here. Would you guys do me a favor and fetch me a wellness tonic? There's a guy that's been handing them out like hotcakes recently, and I don't want to miss out. I'm doing unpaid work, so I don't have a lot of money. But if you're able to get that tonic for me, I'll find some other way to reward you for your time. Sure thing. Small note, a lot is two words, not one word. I know that's one that happens a lot, and I'm sure happens by mistake a lot too. Is it you? Hey, I stole this from a Valencian delivery crate. Awesome. I don't know why they keep sending us stuff, but I ain't complaining. Maybe General Lucian knows. Could be. I'm trying to... I'm looking at all the stuff I really like. Here's a tonic Ooh. you asked for. Wow, thank you guys so much. Bring it here. Well, hand it over, Seraph. Well... I can't get through. All of these books are in the way. Oh, well, place it somewhere on the desk and I'll get to it later. I don't think that's a very good idea. Sorry. You wouldn't mind asking that fella for another one, would you? I'll have to pass. I suppose I still owe you guys, huh? Farmer Sickle, what's this for? It's one of my handy farm tools. I use it to cut down vines growing on walls. But since I'm busy looking into this poison water, I just ain't got much use for it now. Thanks, I guess. Is that it for today, Seraph? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'll be seeing you guys later. Where are you going? Are 
Aren't you going to help Cosette with her reading? I think I've done my fair share of community service for today. Oh. Alrighty then. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. A new quest has been added. Indeed. And I believe it's basically like... Go, yeah, go sleep. I like that one. I think I'm gonna go do the berry. No, I'll go back and sleep first. Yeah, I really like the maps and stuff. It, it's well laid out for this kind of town. There is a lot of water, though. And the waterfall coming down, I don't know exactly... Is that water going under the land? Or is it just that much water emptying into a little pond area? I went the wrong way. That is something we'll go check out later down there, though. Okay. Back home, there is one thing, yes. Use the sickle. Absolutely. I like having that kind of stuff in games. I don't know why there's a bed down here, though. Fashionable pink ribbon is popular among young girls and burly men alike. It's made from genuine silk. It, uh, oh. Now, so, <laughs> we can walk across quite a bit of the bed. I don't know why there's a bed down here. Can you equip that? No, you cannot. Or is it... It is... It, yeah. It is quite a lot of stats. Which is great. We always want stats. Especially when we have the possibility of just one person getting into fights. But who's sleeping in there? Like, it's two houses and then someone was sleeping behind the vines. Hello? Is anyone home? It looks like Cassette needs our help again. Great. Mm -hmm. The carpet is a little bit oddly laid out there. Hey, sorry if I woke you up. Cassette said that she needs a few more bottles of poison water. Are you kidding? What happened to the ones we brought her earlier? Who knows? Once you're ready, I'll be waiting for you at Astoria Shores. I'm always ready, and we aren't he headed that direction. My throat just caught for some reason. Is there anyone else that had a thing? I'm trying to remember. Just in case there was another side quest that went this way, I don't think there is right now. Hello, peoples. I can always talk to him. Look, I wish I had my own boat. Then I could go anywhere. Absolutely. That is just leaves. That's not actually vines, it looks like. Every so often, a boat comes along these shores. It's said that these boats come from Valencia, bearing all sorts of goods. Okay, okay. Are you ready to go? Absolutely. Great! Cool, getting the gang back together. Um, wait. Oh, oh yeah, Queasy Berries. We need those. How many do we need? It said three, right? I believe? Awesome. So we can get all three of them right here. Very nice. That would have been easy for her to get on her own. Oh well. Uh, there are vines here. We will use the thing, but... I remember in the off-camera playthrough, I checked this place so many times and there was never anything here. But that is okay. It still looks neat. No, oh, no, no. Uh, it would be nice if it was like a hit a button to activate that. Because that little spot, I did kind of run into it more than once. Where did I need to go? We needed to get more of the things. Yeah, we headed to the forest. There's only one area we haven't really been to yet. Let's see, I don't think this is where we need to end up. Yeah. That's like a magically sealed door that we can't go through, is the message that you get up there. Fancy hairpin. Scrap metal. <laughs> what was that? Let's try you? Is it headpiece? No, it would be neither. You just can't equip it? Neither of you can equip it. Um. Okay. Although seemingly made out of gold, this fancy piece of jewelry is made up of just scrap metal. Yeah, or metal scrap painted yellow. That's a lot of good stats, though. It's too bad I can't throw that on uh, anybody that's here right now. 
Okay, okay. Inscriptions on this monument have faded away. And that sign is not really a sign. This fox is decaying from the inside. It's shockingly still alive. That's disturbing. But okay. Envenomed kunai. Regular kunai knife has been drenched and imbued with poison. Each strike has a 30% chance to poison, I think it's in. I believe that is you? Yeah. Although it is... The slingshot gives a ranged attack. I can't remember if the kunai still does or not. But that's an attack boost. And that is always good. Who's that? So, this is the infamous toxic water I've heard so much about. It's vile, but I have to collect samples. What do you think you're doing? I've never seen you around here before. Who are you? Maybe she's new here. I'd really appreciate it if you were to move out of my way. I have a really important job to do here in this village. Do you mean collecting the poison water? Yes. That's right. But you're not even carrying the correctly sized bottle. Anyone who gathers poison water has to have a large enough bottle to carry it in. Everyone knows that. As I mentioned before, I'm here on an important mission here in your village. So, as a diplomat, the laws and rules of this village just don't apply to me. Now, if you'll excuse me... Did you hear that? She said that the rules don't apply to her. She looks to be a foreigner, so let's just let her be. Yeah, let's get back to... S snakes! Oh, yeah, there are snakes here in the forest. Crazy, right? But what are you waiting for? Get rid of it! It's just a little old snake. Don't you think you're being a little bit overdramatic? I'm deathly afraid of serpents! Please, it's looking at me! I think we should help her out, Alucard. Fine. Yes, absolutely. They are... there are three of them now. Uh, but we have better stats than we did before. Alucard... I like that it's it's showing. Like, I like this kind of tile-based, you know, the tactics-style combat stuff. I really enjoy that. And I like being able to see what my chances are of, you know, the, the damage, hit chance, the crit chance, all that stuff. Ah, uh, that is... so close. And you are not able to get close enough to do anything. Actually, that snake's gonna come to me. What if I just stay here? I don't want to get... I don't want to get too far away. I don't want to leave Alucard down there alone. Huh. They are not attacking. Sure. Um... Okay, you can still do ranged attacks. That's good. And you crit for a lot. <laughs> That's also good. Attack will finish off the one. It only had one HP left? I'm back to doing that again. Huh. These snakes aren't even trying. Maybe I should have let them go. Let's see. You should be just in range. Nice. Won the battle. 30 experience, 90 gold. Or G. Whatever G might stand for. Quest complete. Ah, it is gold. Is... is that all of them? Yeah, they must have scurried off further into the forest. Thank goodness! I appreciate you risking your lives to save me. I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but you're welcome. I ought to return to Lucian now. My name's Nisa, by the way. Anyway, back to work. What do you mean, back to work? Don't you think that there's more to life than just filling bottles of poison water? That girl just now. She said she was here on some important mission. Don't you think that we have the right as villagers to know what's going on here? Didn't you say earlier that we should just leave her be? I did, but I want to do more than just dabble in some murky water for the rest of my life. I mean, have you seen this stuff? It's gross. And we don't even know where it came from. 
What else is there for us to do? You don't plan on bothering General Lucian, do you? That's exactly what I plan on doing. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of doing the same thing over and over again every day. Whatever that girl is doing sounds way more interesting than what we're doing now, don't you think? Well, yeah, but... If you want a new job so badly, General Lucian should be north of the Astoria Farms. I'll be staying here. There's still work to be done. A new quest has been added. But we got a bunch of money and that's it. Never mind. I was going <laughs> to say I can equip things, but I can't. Excuse me, diseased fox. You are creepy. And effective as being a diseased fox. Hello, dude. Just uh, stay there. Don't worry about it. We are running. And it's not the longest way, but there is not much for me to say. Um... I, I, what, things that I've seen before, other RPG Maker games I've seen that do voice lines and whatnot, uh, have voice acting, it would be nice if they were on a different thing. It would be great if they weren't... Is it this one? Yeah. If they weren't tied to the other sound effect things, because the voices, like, in this one are coming across quiet, it would be nice to adjust them independently. But I know that's probably a limitation of the engine. Here are the queasy berries you asked for. Thanks! Now let's make a great gift! Ah, I just can't wait! Here, take this! And I got a sword. You did your job well! Thanks. Um, thank you for the sword. That's not a huge boost in attack, but we'll take whatever we can get. We have snakes to fight. Let's see, north of the farm. Oop, hey, hey! Use the sickle, absolutely. Another bed. Okay, old military uniform. <laughs> okay. Military uniforms like this were once used as a display of power and authority, but... Not anymore, I'm guessing. But now they're just antiques. But they also do give good stats. They even raise attack. That's nice. Sure. Any stat boosts are good stat boosts. And just for funsies. I am going to save. I can save over my old ones there. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. I like that. The, uh, the change in footstep sounds. Or there are no footstep sounds on the carpet. Just on the wooden parts. Steel mallet. Okay. Can I equip that now, or am I stuck somewhere? Quest complete. Maybe if I were allowed deeper into the forest. Go on now. Hey, it's you again. Would you mind coming back later? We're having a really important talk right now. Have you no manners? You've better have a good reason to disturb me, boy. You're the boy from the forest, aren't you? The one that saved me? He saved you? From what? I was attacked by a den of snakes in the forest, and he and his friend came to my aid. That doesn't explain why he's here. Who are you? I'm one of the residents here in this village. I happened to overhear Nice saying that she was on some important mission here in Astoria. I just wanted to stop by and see if I could assist her somehow. The Valencian is indeed here under special circumstances. But you common folk have nothing to concern yourselves with. As a resident of Astoria, your duty lies elsewhere, not in international affairs. Come now, niece. Let's continue our meeting without interruption. Actually, I'd like to take a break. That's all right with you, sir. A break? But we've only just begun. As much as I'd hate to admit, us clerics are quite frail creatures. Cleric? If we were to become too knackered, it'll spell serious problems for us. No pun intended. Very well. Villager, you are tasked with escorting our valued guest to wherever her heart desires. You do well to show niece here the finer aspects of Astoria Village. 
Okay, a new quest has been added. Mies has been added to your party. There we go. They said the name. Now I'm confident again in what I'm saying. We did also get a steel mallet, which is another upgrade. <laughs> I will never not use upgrades. Okay. So, I believe there's another... Would you mind doing something for me? Uh, sure. Gladly. Thank you. I have a very sensitive nose, you see. And one of my dreams is to smell the fragrances that fill the air of Valencia City. Oh, how I wish I lived there instead of this stuffy place. What? Why? Don't you like it here? Not at all. No. It's so bad that I can't even leave this part of the village without sneezing. I want the air I breathe to have the aroma of exotic fragrances. Oh wow, that must be terrible. Where did you come from? Once I told my boyfriend, he went into the plague forest to gather some sweet-smelling flowers for me. I love him very much, but he shouldn't be risking his life for a girl like me. I have something really important to tell him, so would you mind fetching him for me? Once you find him, meet me at the Sea Breeze Inn. Sure. A new quest has been added, and I don't think Seraph was supposed to be showing up there. Um, let's see, I need to take... Where all do we need to go? I believe it tells me in here. Astoria Deli. Yep. Oh, excuse me, random villager person. Uh, which one's the... That's not the deli. I remember that. That's the inn. It says item? Ah, there we go. So what's this place? This is the deli. We purchased all the ingredients and supplies needed to make food from here. I really adore the smell. We don't have any of these things where I'm from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's peoples in the way. Let's see. Excuse me. We don't have much, but please feel free to shop. Absolutely. Yeah, this is where you can buy all the stuff. Foods that raise your stats of various kinds. Um, I'm not going to buy any right now. We would only have enough for a couple of things anyway. Actually, I like these. I don't know what the difference would be. Like, if I bought just Magical Defense, how does that compare to the Defense and Magic Defense? But I am going to buy a couple of these. Yeah, specifically that one. <laughs> Do come again. Yeah, because my experience before and the off camel uh, off camel playthrough? Off camera playthrough. It was kind of Seabreeze in. Oh, and we were right next to that. Yeah. Some of the enemies were kind of difficult. I was taking it it felt like more damage than it maybe should be. That's just a balancing thing though. But yeah, I want to get my defenses up so that I can survive the battles. Is this some sort of hostel? I don't know what a hostel is, but this is our inn. While we're out and about, we might get hurt, or even seriously injured. So you come here to rest up and become healthy again? Yeah, for a fee. These services aren't free? N no they are not. I heard this place really drains your wallet. I'm from a rich family, so that's no problem for me. Okay. Are you jealous? Please tell me you're jealous. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I can't afford a room here. I'm really just lucky enough to walk around. Aw. I understand. Um, what is the next thing that you need? We hit the deli, we hit that. The, uh, in Cassette's house. Okay. That is an easy one. Whoop. Yeah, and it is kind of specific where you need to walk to cross over to the next area in a few places. Quest complete. Stone contains life drain spell. Okay. Hey, would you mind? An intruder? Who are you? Do you want my money? This girl here is named Nice. She's been sent here to look into the source of the poison water. Is that right? Correct. Oh, really now? You see these here books? Within them is all to know about Plagued Forest, including the poison water. I ain't smart enough to understand them, though. Oh, wonderful. Would you mind if I take a look? Sure, go right ahead.
What's the matter? I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. You said you were in need of a break, weren't you? Cassette, do you have anything for Nice to eat? I sure do, but my hands are all dirty from handling that poison water. So there's nothing around here for me to eat? There is one thing, but it's all the way in my room. Alucard, would you mind fetching it for me? Your room is not that far. Why is it chained? Contents of this package contain the ingredients of a pepper stew. Good job, but before you can begin cooking, come take this here recipe book. I absolutely. Okay, great. Now head on over to that cauldron and make niece food. Uh, make niece her food. There we go. Got there eventually. Make this for you, and I will make that one for me. Two of them. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, there are many different types of foods you can make. If you want to buy a couple of these foods, head on over to the Astoria Deli. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Here, eat this. It's not quite like the food back home, but I suppose it'll have to do for now. Good. Now that you're fed, would you mind telling me the real reason why you're here in my village? I already told you, I've been sent from Valencia to investigate the poisoned water. Your village elder has asked for outside assistance, and our people are happy to oblige. Wow, I have stories of you Valencian folk being super nice, but to think you would travel all this way? Apparently nice enough that our rules don't apply to her. General Lucian never allows people to break the rules. Alcard has a point. Just for what reason exactly are you here? For the last time, I'm here to investigate the poison water. Well, I was also tasked with taking that sword in the forest back home with me. We learn about weapons like that a whole lot back home, so it's nice to actually see one in person. Do you mean the hollowed blade? You can't take that, it's ours! Would you quiet down a little? You don't have to always yell, you know. Sorry. Do you mean the hollowed blade? That rusted old sword deep in the forest, right? Yep, that's the one. It's much more than that, Alucard. Tell you what, since neither of you know much about this village, how about you stop by General Lucian's office? Maybe at least one of you will learn something new there. Oh, I simply can't wait! A new quest has been added. Um, I'm a little surprised Alucard doesn't know things about the village. Also, we use the tome for Nice. And the cactus stew are both going on Alucard. Because he is melee. And not much choice in that. Let's see, I forgot what you wanted. You wanted me to go to the, uh, the forest, and we're not going over there yet for anything. Cool, cool. So you're saying all the forest creatures simply dwindle away like that? For the most part, yes. And the ones that are still alive look very sick. What should we do, sir? Hey, you're back! Oh, right on time. Well, what do you think of our village, niece? It's... quaint. There are quite a few things that I don't understand, though. According to my research, there seemed to be some connection between the poison water and the blade in the forest. But I just can't put my finger on it. You Valencian folk truly are well learned. You even went out of your way to get a head start on your next mission. Do you by any chance know why the forest animals are dying out, niece? Sorry, but I can't say much for the animals that live in the area. Tell me, have you three ever wondered why the plate forest water is poisoned? I don't know. Pollution? It's something more sinister, is it? Indeed. But these circumstances are far more sinister than you could imagine. When Astoria was in its infancy, a witch hellbent on bloodlust took aim at our village. She arrived under the guise of darkness and struck when we were least expecting it. A witch? What are those? A witch is someone that uses their magic for evil. They're not the type of people that you'd want to be friends with, that's for sure. Right once again, niece. However, 
This witch in particular seemed to be the very embodiment of death itself. The plants around her feet shriveled up and died. And the men and women that dared face her in combat collapsed without laying a finger on her. But when all hope seemed lost, a brave warrior took up arms against the witch and fought for our village. This brave warrior came to be known throughout the annals of history as a witch slayer. So, did this witch slayer end up killing the witch and saving our village? Fate would deem it so that even the witch slayer too would perish due to the witch's dark magic. The blade in which dispelled the witch now rests deep within the plagued forest. So, the poison water in the forest is that witch's doing? Is that what you're trying to say? But this doesn't make any sense. If this happened so long ago, then why is the poison water still there? Although the incident occurred over a hundred years ago, the area in which they waged their final battle is yet to heal. I see. That explains the strange power emanating from it. Strange power? Haven't you said enough, niece? It's about time we resumed our little get-together, hasn't it? Indeed. It's been grand, but I suppose this is where we part ways. What should we do now? Let's head back to the forest. You did say there was work to be done, right, Seraph? Oh, yeah! New quest has been added. And our party has been swapped. We now have bandanas. Which I... am always happy to get new gear. And it does good stat stuff. I went off the carpet. The floor was all thuds. What do you think about what Nisa and General Lucian talked about? You mean about the forest animals? No, not the forest animals. I'm talking about the whole Witch Slayer stuff. Well, whatever Nisa was sent here to do must be really important. And we'll have to do our part to make sure her mission's a great success. I guess that's one way to look at it. We can talk more at the Plague Forest. Let's get a move on. Okay, okay. Move we shall do. We have a dude to find. In addition to our other stuff. I can't remember what else there is to do. I don't trust people to drink lake water. Why not? I'll find a reason not to. I like that. Make sure you grab those apples you find laying around. As a matter of fact, pick up everything you find. I can't cook very well, but I'm sure you'll be able to put something together later. Ah, oh, you went that way. I was gonna go up, and you also went up. Let's see, let's see. There is this one building that we haven't been in yet. And that is because this is like a... Yeah, it's the gallery. You can, you can look at stuff. I do know it will serve a bit of a purpose later. I think it's for a side quest. But not at the moment. Alright. We have a dude to find somewhere and work to do somewhere. It has been a few days, so I don't like remember everything that I uh, that I did before. Let's see. I doubt you're the dude. Halt! No one is allowed to enter this section of the forest. Lucian's orders. The Valencian girl sent us. She wants us to investigate something for her. All right then. You have permission, then I suppose I cannot keep you here. Fair enough, but I don't think that's the way I need to go to find the dude. Uh, I'm just gonna real quick check around. You're the only dude I see out here. But I don't think you're the one. Gotta double check everything. Okay, not there. She did say that he came out into the forest, right? It should be in the journal. I love having a journal thing. Uh, we finished that one. Find Shannon's boyfriend, yeah. Ooh, meat bun parts. More food stuff. I like boosting stats. You are not up here either, my good sir. Hi, Fox. There we go. That path is a little small to have a fox walking around in front of it. If I take a swim in this poison water, will I not have to go to work tomorrow? Uh... 
Probably, but I don't think that's a good thing. I don't know where the boyfriend is. Are you this way? Somehow? So this is that sword, huh? There's a lot of the poison water around here. It sure is creepy here. Let's go somewhere else, huh? What? No way. If what Lucian said was true, maybe we can use this to clear out the water polluting our village. He did say it was used to stave off that witch that caused it, right? This just looks like some rusty old sword to me. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Hey! Cut it out! Why the heck did you go ahead and touch it for? Relax, would you? I can fix it. Oh, really? I don't think I can fix it. You're not gonna pick it up too, are you? Of course not. All I wanted was to take a proper look at the thing. Well, we can't just leave it there like that. Put it back on a rock or something. Are you kidding me? There's no way I'm touching that thing again. Great, now we've messed up Nisa's research. Oh yeah, that's right. Maybe she'll be able to fix it. If I remember right, she said she used magic. Maybe if we find her and tell her what happened, she'll put it back to normal for us. And even if she can't fix it herself, she said earlier that she'll bring it back home to Valencia with her. Those Valencian guys are so nice to the smaller villages, so I'm sure they'll be able to help us out. Alucard has learned the skill Thrust. Cool. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I will absolutely use that sickle and grab whatever free stuff. There's not a dude in here. Steel flail. Strike enemies from a distance. I do believe that is an Alucard item. But it is weaker than what we have. So I'm not going to. It's only weaker by one, though. It does lower luck as well. But... Hmm. It gives range. Ranged attacks are always good. At least I feel like they're always good. Um, I'm going to take one last peek because I don't know where this dude is that we were supposed to find. The boyfriend. Unless I passed him somewhere and not paying attention, I'm pretty sure he's not up there. We've already been through those vines. Definitely not over here. Oh, the fox shuffled off. I guess I will go this way just to make double sure. We can't do anything there, can we? No. And interacting with mushrooms doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, a fox is blocking... Okay, good. The fox moved before I got there. We can't sneak around. It's definitely not that dude. And I don't... Yeah, he's definitely not down here, like, hiding somewhere. I don't understand this bridge. It looks like it's uh, kind of staked into the air. But it's a rope bridge. Honestly, I don't... Unless there's something with it later, I don't understand why it's there at all. Hi, Misty. Uh, there's not a dude suddenly hiding over here. And you're not the dude. You are not the dude at all. I'm not working today, but I sure can't get enough of this place. I, I do have that quest, right? Find him somewhere in the plagued forest. Okay. Uh-oh. The game has frozen in a weird way. It sounds like I'm in another area. I don't know what happened, but I... Normally I wouldn't leave in bugs, but this is an odd enough one that I would like you to see how it happened. So I'm going to reload and get back to this point from my last save. And I will see you in a second. Okay, successfully made it out. And I totally didn't forget what it is I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay, need to go find Nice. Who I'm going to assume is still back at the place? I don't remember. Need to go back to Lucian's. There is actually another reason to go back to Lucian's. I never did find that, that lady's uh, boyfriend either. 
are you here? And if not, can I rob you? I can. Some antidotes. Okay, just curing poison. So where might you be? We've taken Nice around the town. Are you back down here? Reading books? Makes sense. For the last time, Nice, you can't just put random things in here like that. Sorry, I just can't help it. I've never cooked my own meals before. Do you have anything else I can throw in there? No offense, but why don't you just leave the cooking to me from now on, all right? What a spoil sport. Well, I have even more bad news. Oh, it's you again. We just keep running into one another, don't we? And what do you mean by bad news? Did something happen? Why couldn't you just keep your hands to yourself? There was a reason why that area of the forest was off limits, you know? We just wanted to take a good look at it, niece. And besides, it's not like we broke it or anything. Man, if I were you, I'd just let niece here handle all that magic stuff from now on. I mean, she can fix it, right? I fear if we interfere with the blade now, it would lead to disaster. Well, what do you suppose we do? Why not tell General Lucian? Granted you two dimwits destroy the village's most prized possession, I doubt you'd leave without consequence. But since he's the one in charge of our village, I suppose he'd know what to do more than anyone. But I didn't even do anything. Alucard's the one that touched it. I'm really not in the mood to get yelled at again. Well, too bad. You're getting yelled at. Haha. <laughs> oh, I did. Just very quickly, I don't think I did this before. I gave niece the, the fancy hairpin accessory just because and I wanted to make sure that I made that clear because I might forget later I don't think it would do that much let's see we robbed you already you must be well rested as to have returned to me after so long niece yes but I come bearing unfortunate news what's this unfortunate news you speak of niece Out with it, Valencian! I'm afraid that I seem to have destroyed the pedestal that the blade had been resting in. Although the blade itself remains intact, I cannot help myself but feel responsible for destroying part of your village's property. The blade remains intact, yes. If so, what condition is it in? It seems to be suspended in mid-air somehow. I personally don't buy into the whole magic thing, but I don't have any other explanation for it. And how do you know this, villager? As per my explicit instruction, only Nice is permitted to venture that far into the forest. I got lost and they came looking for me. It was at that time they witnessed what happened. If I may ask, why is that blade so important? One used to stave off that witch. But didn't that happen over a hundred years ago? What good would it do us now? As much as I detest getting you common folk involved in international affairs, I suppose I don't have much choice right now. However, since you two have become well acquainted with Nisia, I shall have her explain things. N me They are your friends, aren't they? Wouldn't it be most appropriate for them to learn of your business here in their village from you, yourself? I suppose. My name is Reese Rodeval, and I'm a diplomat from my home country, Valencia. I was sent here to your village to investigate the blade in the forest. But I suppose you already knew that much, didn't you? To answer your question, the blade is so important because it contains powerful magic within it. Back home in Valencia, we've been working tirelessly to uncover secrets from within weapons like this one. But I think if it stays here in this village, we won't ever figure it out. I'm not too sure about this plan of yours. I don't feel right having something so important to our village's history be sent away like that. The weapon won't be taken from us forever. 
Once its secrets have been recovered, it will be sent back here so that we may use its power. Wow, that's a relief. Maybe when they uncover the power for us, we'll be able to clear out the forest with it. That's not a bad idea. I think it's about time that I made my way back home, don't you think? Why don't we head to Valencia with her? If this blade truly has this much power stored within it, then we can't just send her back alone. I suppose I indeed can't let you stay in Astoria, granted you know of Nisa's true business here. However, since you are effectively her bodyguards, it would be a waste to have weak men accompany her on her journey. What do you suggest we do to become stronger? Deep within the plague forest lies a cave filled with monsters. If you are able to successfully enter this cave and return to me with a beast egg, then you'll have my full permission to escort Nice back home. Consider it done. Absolutely. Auto save complete. That is always nice to see. Thanks for looking out for us back there, niece. I mean, you did save me from those snakes, so I had to return the favor somehow. Okay, okay. Let's see, did this open up yet? At some point, you are able to go down and do something here, but I think it's a side quest. Yeah, it's a side quest to get in there, and I don't think we can right now. Yep, that's, this is one of those places that's a little odd. <laughs> yeah. You have to walk back down the stairs if you don't walk up in just the right spot. Let's see, so what all are we supposed to do? It is, yeah, going into the caves. Let's see, I don't think we need to rest or anything. Is everybody doing okay? Yeah. And I know it auto-saved, but I will, of course, save it again once I get a little closer. Did that... Did the dude show up yet? Nope. Still not over here. He's not hiding in here. I'm like 99% sure of that, but yeah. Always gotta make sure. I know in the beginning I said I wouldn't necessarily be doing all of the side quests, but at the same time, I do at least want to check around. No. I don't think he would be hanging out next to a floating sword. Ah, there you are. Why weren't you there before? Excuse me, are you Shannon's boyfriend? No, none of these flowers will do. Listen, mate, your girlfriend really wants to talk to you at the Seabreeze Inn. Shannon? Oh, my darling Shannon. Have I taken too long to gather these flowers for her? We don't really know, but she said it's important. Oh, jeez. I'll be there right away. Okay, cool. I will pop back out for that one, though. Just real quick, because we are fairly close to the entrance, and I know the next bit is going to take a while, and I don't want to forget what I'm doing. Do we need to go to the end and go see all the people? There we go. I can find my way around. I can walk through archways. That is an archway, yeah. Um, yeah, there you are. Thank you. I broke the news to him. What'd you end up saying to him? Yeah, and where is he anyway? I told him I'd be hitching a ride to Valencia City in one of these cargo barrels. What? He insists on heading back into the forest and getting me the flowers I like. He even said he won't come back to the main village until he does. Aw oh, man, he must really love you, huh? Anyway, take this. Thank you again for helping me. Uh, meat bun parts. Okay. Some magical defense. I will go... No, I don't think I'm going to cook those up just yet. Let's go through some stuff. See if we can battle some things, get some money. Then I will do that. After uh, buying more food parts. That's what I... Or ingredients. Are they called... They are called parts and not ingredients. I'm going the wrong way. I was uh, thinking, why... Is it because parts is a shorter name? Yeah. That sounds more like you're uh, repairing a car or something. Just a little bit. I mean, I can understand. I get that I'm going the wrong way again. I get the gist of it. But ingredients might be a better name. Unless that's just too long of a text thing to fit on there. Here, allow me to open this for you. Okay. 
straight into a battle. All right, we can't really do much, didn't I? Never mind. Not that the range thing matters here. I didn't equip it, did I? <laughs> I must not have given you the the thing this time around. Didn't he get a flail at some point? That is, I'm not just imagining that. See, you don't do a lot of damage, but it's guaranteed to be more than enough. So that's good. And you are the last one left. Can you attack through objects? Yes, you can. It doesn't really make sense, but I... Yeah, absolutely. A critical hit is... Especially. Oh, you can attack on the diagonal. Okay. I don't think we can. Unless you... Yeah. Unless you crit, you wouldn't have gotten it. Can we hit things? No. We can't attack on a diagonal, so... The bears do get something special there. Won the battle, got a bunch of stuff. Arcane soup parts found. Absolutely. Nice is now level 2, Alucard and Seraph. Everybody's level 2. Now, why would a beast egg be in such a mucky place like this? Probably because it's so dark and secluded. My guess is that only wild and rabid beasts live here. Right, Seraph? He's right. I visit caves like this to help the wild animals that might have ventured too far into the forest. Some of them can be quite scary, though. These animals aren't so scary. However, there is something quite disturbing coming from deeper within the cave, but it's too far away for me to make it out. Well, as long as we avoid it, we should be fine. You know, since we're asking questions, what exactly are you? I'm Nice. What I meant was, are you human or what? Of course I'm human. What would make you think otherwise? Well, the people that we normally see around here can't cast spells or sense things like you can. It's kind of weird. Oh, so you mean my magic, right? As far as I could remember, I've always had these abilities. In fact, where I'm from, there are entire schools dedicated to magic. What do you people call you back home? They call me niece. I'm starting to think you never went to school. I heard General Lucian call you a cleric. Is that what you are? Yep, us clerics practice healing and restoration magic. However, my specific branch of magic tends to do bugger all in terms of offensive spells. Branch of magic? So there's different types now? Yes, but we can talk about that at a more appropriate time. For now, let's just focus on finding that beast egg. Absolutely. We got a cave, which I sh would assume goes to you. Yes. And it's not a whole lot of increases, but we'll take anything we can get. Uh, speaking of, do I have anything else? Okay, this time around, I didn't equip all of the things. So how's everybody's stats? Your defense is crazy, so you don't need the ha the Pentana for that. Um, you could also use the light armor. I did feed Alucard a couple times, and that was maybe a mistake. You have... Oh! Did I not go back and pick up the flail? Wherever that was. I totally forget where that was. Whatever. Actually, this feels like a good time to save it. Let's go for file three. And I will leave Nisha in the front. Let's see, let's see. Exploring the places. My clothes are already dirty as is. Let's not go this way. Now that, I don't understand. I do know what's going Hey, can we interact with that in any way? No. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Uh, clothes are already dirty. Let's not go this way. Okay. Another sign that doesn't tell us stuff. Magic hat. Very nice. I think I know who gets that. Oh, well, I, I can give you the bandana after all. Make you even more defensive. Nice. Um, nope, no Breath of Fire 3 style checking those things. Rest up? Absolutely. Not that I think we got hit by anything. I think only one of the bears even tried to attack. And it missed. 
There it is! It's the beast egg! Yeah, but don't you see that bear right in front of it? Of course I see the bear! It looks like it won't move an inch. What should we do? Us clerics are inherently in tune with nature. So you're saying you can talk to animals? For the most part, yeah. Well, since you're able to communicate with animals, what does this bear want? Hmm, let's see. Well, what does it want? I think it wants rabbit meat. Rabbit meat? How do you expect us to find rabbits in a cave filled with bears? It's natural that large caverns like this ought to have a whole host of wild animals living in them. I bet if we keep searching, we'll be bound to run into a few rabbits eventually. I know that we will. And this is the part that confuses me a little, because I know where the rabbits are, I do remember that. Uh, I'm not sure why we couldn't just get them earlier. Yeah. Because we are just kind of, uh, here. Let's, speaking of here, let's start here. Oh, I'm trying to rem I may remember where the flail was, and no, I didn't pick it up this time around. You actually do have life drain. That uses a lot of MP, though. Um, and you don't need to heal. Oh, there's a decent chance that she'll be able to take this out by herself. Okay, cool. Which means that poor Seraph has nothing to do. We wait. The rabbit of death. Okay. I'll get you down here first. <laughs> it's just a bonk noise, and I like it. Experience, rabbit meat, niece leveled up, Seraph, and Alucard. Nice. So, is there anything extra? No. I'm pretty sure we can't actually walk across there. Cool. Something seems to have... There it is. I was going to say, the background sound just disappeared there for a bit. We didn't get hit or anything. We leveled up, and it looks like that means we're not maxed out on HP and stuff right now. So we'll go do a little resty. Do a little, do a little sleep. And then save it. Because that is what we do. Alright, and I am going back into the multiple, or save slots thing. Yep, there we go. Looks like it's hungry. And uh, do I have to use rabbit meat? Um... Use it? No? Blocking a path and it looks like it's hungry, yeah. I know I did this before. I'm just not sure how I did this before. I'm gonna do this, I just saved it, so... No. Wait a minute. It's on me, isn't it? I remember doing this the last time. We need six of them. Okay. So I need to go figure out where there are other rabbits. Oh, that's right. We couldn't go this way either. That's bears. That's not rabbits. Um, let's get you away from a bad spot. Yeah, the, I got confused because the quest didn't actually, like, tell me. Let's see, let's just go for attack, I guess. Uh, the quest didn't say how much rabbit meat when I first got it. I think I have to go into the journal to see. I don't even know if it said that I would need a plurality of rabbit meats, if plurality is the right word. I know that's a word, I just don't know if it's the right one for that. That was a lot of damage. 217 is most of your health. I am not fond of that. Um, we'll move you away. We'll move you away. And you can now use Life Drain. Hopefully that will be enough. Okay, cool. 
I do have a place to go rest up and everything, so there's no real big worries there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you just bop the bear. Oh, this is like an actual 50-50 chance, right? The damage could be enough or more. Oh, not quite. Yeah, because the range of it, 80 to 120, the average is 100. <laughs> Won the battle! I uh, got a bunch of roots and a steel bar, and leveled up. Nice. Okay, I will... I'm not gonna wait too long. Oh! That just works on everyone? Affects two units away from... Yeah, I guess that just heals an area. See, I was not immediately jumped by rabbits, so there must be something to this. Can't go around. Can't go out. There are some boxes over there that I could probably check out. All right. Um, I'm now scared to have Mise over there alone because she may get viciously assaulted by a rabbit. Although. She did fine before. She was able to one-shot one earlier. Pretty good chance that she'll be able to kill it outright. Unless that happens. Cool, cool. Oh, and you do not need to stand right next to it. Another critical hit from you. Okay, it's only ten. That's not a big deal. And now the worst part of tactics games... <laughs> where clearly this fight is going to be over by the time anyone else gets over there. You know what? I'll just have them skip their turns. It'll probably take a couple of rounds. Or it probably won't, actually. It will, though. It's like, statistically, it shouldn't take more than one round, most likely. Okay. Got him. There's the rest of the rabbit meat. Coded ammo learned. Nice. This looks like enough, right? Yep, if I were that bear, I'd be over the moon. Okay. Those poor rabbits. Seraph, don't tell me that you actually feel bad for these rabbits. Wouldn't it be better if we just bought the rabbit meat from a shop or something? You're right. We could have just bought the rabbit meat, but that would have taken too long. And we wouldn't have gotten experience points. Which is, of course, the most important part. That is nice. It sounds more like we're walking on a tin roof, but I do like that there's a different sound, and it is nice and metallic. Okay. This looks like it should be a thing. There's the, a pattern on the ground there. It just, it feels like it should be something. Not that I'm saying Dev put that in or anything, just... Seeing anything that looks different makes me think there's going to be something special. All right. Let's get in here. All right, Seraph, hand the bear the rabbit meat. What? Me? What's the matter? I thought you loved wildlife. You're not scared of feeding this bear, are you? Of course I'm scared. It's a wild bear, and it's hungry. Give me the meat. I'll feed the bear. Okay, Mr. Bear, open wide. The egg was dredged up from deep within the Astoria Caverns. Faint sounds can be heard from within it. See? Now, was that so hard? Um, niece? I just can't believe it. It was just a bear, you know? And you guys have the nerve to complain when I never asked to be in this dank, musty cave in the first place. You might want to turn around. There's no way I'm taking another step. My clothes are all dirty. And these are my good shoes, too. Niece, have you ever been mauled to death by a werebear before? No, why? Oh, fiddlesticks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fiddlesticks, indeed. Um, there we go. I had to move the cursor off of him to begin with. 
This will do a lot of damage. Please be enough. Awesome. There was a good chance it would be more than enough. I want to move you down a couple so that you're not immediately next to where the bear might end up. And then, Seraph, you are so good at the critical hits. Please do those or the opposite. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's a lot. That's almost half his damage or uh, HP. Don't kill me, bro. Okay, that was almost nothing. When I came here the first time, uh, that thing one shot Alucard. <laughs> so I guess filling up on delicious foods was enough. Um, yeah, these things don't have any kind of retaliation mechanic or anything. There's no gonna get smacked back as a counter. All right. You are actually living, which makes me so excited that we will use thrust. I'm trying to phrase that in a way that doesn't sound bad. Dude, don't die. Oh, that was a pretty good one up there. At least you're living and no uses left. Uh, I'm not sure why these have both an MP cost and a use limit. I would think one or the other. Mm. I gotta move you over here, man. No, nope, not the bear. You. Uh, at the very least, I need to be next to Nice where she can uh, heal. Heaven's light. Okay. You might live through this if the bear misses. It did not. Okay. Well, I should have... I thought that was the lower risk way to go. I know I could have probably killed both of the bears in one turn, and Seraph would have lived, but... Uh, didn't do that. <laughs> I wanted to go for the heal. Alright, you can't do anything here... Also, I can't move the cursor across. Ah, dang it. I wanted to get you close enough. I wanted to get Alucard close enough for a heal. Okay. Alucard is bleeding. That is not good for me. Hopefully, you are just out of range. All right, done. that doesn't mean move back. I'm going to have to end your turn there. How much... You have 54 left, and I cannot use your special move. Uh, we're back at the 50-50. <laughs> Alright. Mm, yep. Alucard's bleeding, and it's gonna go down this time. Yeah. I don't think having one more person on the field would have mattered for that, really. Someone was going to die. Drasner Roots, Steel Bar, Enchanted Cape? That sounds good. And another Drasner Root, Nice leveled up. It is good that they can still level up even if they get knocked down. You guys all right? I'm not sure. I think my everything's broken. Well, if you're healthy enough to complain, then I suppose you'll live. What about you, Nice? Are your clothes dirty? You know... After all those harsh words, I would have expected you to hand me over to the werebear on a silver platter. Time and time again, you two risk your lives for me, and what do I have to offer in return? You're a cleric, aren't you? The least you can do in return is heal us when we're in danger, right? But what good would it be if I was the one that endangered you in the first place? You're overthinking it. Let's just get out of this place before another one of those werebears shows up. If there's anything I could do to repay the both of you, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Absolutely. I think first and foremost, we will just go hide in a cave and have a little sleep. Because everyone knows naps make you healthy. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess. I don't understand video game logic. Uh, ooh. 
We do have 800 something gold. 890. All right. Almost 900. I'm going to buy a bunch of food stuff. Also, I'm going to go back into here because I think this is where I had gotten a thing before. That is not. I can't remember where I got the flail. All right. <laughs> we don't need to go that way. I'm not going to worry about it. The flail is only one point of damage lower. And the range thing doesn't seem to matter as much. Was it over here? Just so I can remember. No, it was. Oh, yeah, it was. Wasn't it? In here? I know y'all have seen this once already, but for the sake of completion. Yeah, there we go. Now, if enemies had some way of counterattacking, I feel like the, the range would matter more. But it doesn't seem that they do. I don't know if that's something that's addable to this. Addable, I don't think is a word. If it's something that can be added, it does add an extra level of uh, things. That steel flail thing. I'm waiting for it to go away. There we go. <laughs> just hung around for so long. Where where all do we need to go? Do we just need to go back? I want to make sure before I get there. Turn a general Lucian at Chamomile Estate. Absolutely. We saved it in the cave after beating the bear, so I don't need to do it again. Oh, I missed the carpets. It's locked. Oh, right. Chamomile Estate. That's different. That is over east of here. Not not that way. <laughs> not that suddenly east. I do want to stop off and buy food items, like I said, but not quite yet. I don't think we need it yet. Can I steal any of this? Books are all about Valencian history. Cannot steal that, and I can't walk over to the plate. Quest complete. Alas, you've returned. The beast egg. Do you have it? Yep, just as you requested. You conveniently left out the part where we'd be attacked by wild bears. Do forgive me. You did in fact dispose of the beast, correct? Yes, and it attacked us as soon as we touched the beast egg. You So you're saying we can actually travel to Valencia? Listen, boy. This is no vacation. Are you in need of a reminder of your mission? To be honest, yeah. There is great power hidden within this blade. So much so that it will aid greatly in Astoria's expansion. So you want the Valencians to help us? We here in Astoria are sadly too ill-equipped to handle such a task. That is why you are going to Valencia, not for a day off. You are to travel to Nisa's home country, have the Blade's power unearthed, and return to Astoria once you are through. Do you understand? I guess. Blade is said to... Yeah, we have it now. For a sword, it's remarkably lightweight. Yes. That is but one of the mysteries surrounding the blade. If you are ready to depart from Astoria, do talk to the Knight of the Docks. Well, I am not quite ready, but I think I may have missed a chance at a certain side quest I wanted to do. I know there's also a side quest there that we could talk to that blue-haired guy. Um... Can we at least go in here? No. There are side quests you can do specific to your companions, and I I must have missed my chance. Because Seraph does have one, and we go into those springs that I, I said I was going to go into, and I completely... Yeah, I can't... Oh, no, I need to buy some other stuff first. Specifically... Don't have much. I want to buy a couple of these. One for each of my companion -y people. And physical damage for two people. And let's see. 
Magic attack and luck sounds good. Honestly, I don't know what I want her to be doing. Let's just get her physical damage as well. Yeah. Do come again. Absolutely. So we're going to go craft these up first. Yeah, I wasn't sure with Nice. Do I want to go for some kind of magic attack thing? But I don't want to spend her MP on that. So, yeah. I'd, I'd rather have that available for healing. Her draining life from somebody is not really the way to go. Um, right. Meat bun parts. I thought I had gotten cactus stew stuff for the two people. Did I buy the wrong thing? Might have. I don't know. Do I have... I do have this as well. Anything else? No. Okay. Now to distribute things. Allocate things to people. Puffy rife. Uh, uh, rife. Oh, I did just magical defense. I meant to do the one that does both. Okay. Um. Oh, well. Everybody gets one of those. Uh, everybody gets one of these, even though there were mistakes were made. I could reload a save, but whatever. Um, magical attack and luck. Those will go... Uh, magical attack is good for her. It's not a thing for Seraph, but the luck part of it. I'll go with Nice. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's not like we're going to run into another like heavily mag or physical attacking thing. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. We will. I'm <laughs> we're going to have to. Oh, I can, though. And how much do I have to sell? Because I, like, I really don't need some of these things that I have. I'm not going to go back... The bow I just got, the wand I don't need, slingshot I've got upgrades, and the flail can now serve as a good purpose. And I can also... There you are. I do like the poisoning aspect. This is not that much more for an attack, but any bit works. I'm going to keep the kunai because it does have a chance to poison. You never know when that might help. Dang, there's not one that's just defense. It has to be both. I can only get two, but that's all I wanted. Alucard has already gotten some stat boosting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that I'm going to regret not having money when I get to another town or something. But being able to raise my base stats, that's... Buying new equipment with money is the same to me. Uh, most likely a new weapon would not be adjusting things by as much as, as this will. Or in this case, new armor. Defense by 25, that is good. Both of you get one? Okay. I am curious what new equipment would do for us, though. Alright, um... I know there are some side questy things, like I said, but... We're just gonna let those be for now. Um... Sure. Did not know you could scroll down on the file saves. The cargo boat is ready to depart for Valencia. To Valencia. Are you ready to depart? Yeah, okay. Very well, do watch your step. Thank you. I will. It is a wonderful step. A few years earlier. This must be quite serious if you're entering my chamber unannounced. What seems to be bothering you? As close-knit as we may be, apart from myself, all the other witches have their abilities in check. I, however, remain undisciplined. After you sent me to scout that village, I left it in ruin. What is it that you are trying to say? Are you saying you don't belong here? I'm fully capable of defending myself from the Witch Slayers. That much is clear. 
word is that they struggle against mere mages. I see. However, it is for the sake of these very mages is why I urge you to stay. If you were to leave us, you'll not only be abandoning those closest to you, but also the hopes of countless mages who fell in battle. I don't think I'm following. Witch slayers are killers. People who wield power far beyond their means in the name of justice. The ones I've dealt with in the past are sometimes no different than the mages and witches they hunt, as if they were game. I wish to create a place where we can live in peace, free from the watchful eyes of those who wish to do us harm. I am certain that the last thoughts of those mages were of the home that I desperately wish to create. I pray that you forego those delusions of causing us harm, for the dead require vengeance, and the living purpose. Ugh. Why do we have to travel back to Valencia on a stuffy old cargo boat? I absolutely positively hate being at sea. Hang tight, niece. I doubt we'll stay on this boat for long. If we want to keep this blade safe, we're going to have to stay here on this boat for just a little longer. I wasn't really listening to what Lucian said, but I have the general idea of what we're supposed to be doing. I think our job is pretty straightforward. We definitely need to do something about that poison water, Alucard. Right. The quicker we get those Valencians to help us, the quicker we can clean up Astoria. Yeah. And we'll have tons of more space for the wild animals. There are plenty of people getting sick from the stuff already. Okay, you can hand the sword over now. That's not going to destroy itself. What? What's the big deal? I did say I was going to bring it back to Valencia, didn't I? Yeah, but not to destroy it. But what about our village? Did you really think I really cared about your little village? Cramps was easy enough to fool, but you two just had to get in the way. The desires of the Valencian people should come before all. What are these desires, niece? Why would I tell you guys anything? Because you owe us, remember? We did save your butt twice, after all. The least you can do is tell us what you're really after. Fine. I've been sent to retrieve the blade and have it brought back home for it to be destroyed. It's not like I lied to you guys. I don't exactly know why this is being done, I just know it has to be done. You lied via omission. That's still lying. Destroyed? Why would anyone want to destroy this? It belongs to our village. I told you, I just do what I'm told, okay? Now, hand it over. Ow. The sword stays with us, niece. And as for our trip to Valencia, consider it cancelled. Yeah, but if we want to do that, we're going to have to speak with the captain. Which we will do. And there is a place to craft stuff, so I guess I didn't have to do that before. Hey, red cloth. It's just a standard red cloth that may uh, have some use. Yes, some sort of use. Collecting things from places. Excuse me, I want to rob this plant. No? I love being able to rob random things. Clothes? No. Another barrel. Gradia apple juice. Restores current MP. All right. Let's see. Food we've stolen before. Some meat buns. I don't think anyone in particular needs that right now. Let's check. Status. Everybody. Oh, wow, your magic defense is crazy, dude. All right. Um, <laughs> Seraph, it is. Seraph, I hope you're hungry. I can't help but imagine just these people are eating whether they want to or not. Teacup is still warm. Seems to be the room of a young girl. Well, I hope she wasn't hungry. Um, hello, peoples. Locked. I'm busy robbing people. I'll, I'll get to the talking to them later. Whoever sleeps here enjoys light reading before bed. Hey, so do I. Awakening tonic. Very nice. Born type of indoor plant. 
the holes in the floor. I, I, I don't, I don't understand. What would you think would happen if we lit a fire in this boat? Would it go out before we sank? No. Well, no. It depends on where you light it, but almost absolutely not. I'm not sure about what's on this cargo boat, but any excuse to be away from home is a good one. I get that. But yeah, the holes in the floor. Overall, I've really liked the mapping and stuff in this game. Uh, I've liked the layout of all the places, but gaping holes in the floor of a boat like this. It's going to be rocking. I don't know if this is... I think we're on the ocean? Do you happen to know the captain of this ship? You see, there's been a change of plans. Huh? If you're looking for this ship's captain, then you might want to check at the bottom of the ocean. What? You threw the captain overboard? What? No. Maybe you got distracted and fell? Who knows? I'm not buying it. What are you, some sort of pirate? Does it look like I have an eye patch to you? Yes? I like you. You're funny. Who are you? Are you an enemy? I don't know. Are you guys from Valencia? What does being from Valencia have to do with anything? Everything. It's the very reason why I'm on this boat in the first place. The Valencian people are monsters that leave little girls like me orphaned. They only care about themselves, and will do anything for money and power. They're a bunch of rich posers, that's what they are. I'm Viridian, by the way. My ragtag group of friends and I serve to free the world from Valencia's clutches, one cargo boat at a time. What's so special about cargo boats? Answer me this. Do any of you have the slightest idea what's being transported in this here cargo boat? I don't know, food or something? I wish it were. They're weapons. Weapons that'll be pointed at people like me who don't let them walk all over us. That's enough! I doubt you even know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Why should I listen to you? Wouldn't you just so happen to know more than I do? Viridian, was it? Are you able to use this ship to take us where we want to go? Depends. Fetch me a map and I'll be sure to take you guys wherever. Okay. Yeah, uh, overall mapping good. The giant floors, or the giant floors, giant holes in the floor are super dangerous. Uh, especially if we're, this is more of a sea ocean sort of vessel. Which I think they said it was? I can't remember. Anyway, there's the map. It was just right there on the table. Um, let's see, I already crafted up meat buns. Okay. It's a bit scuffed up, but it'll have to do for now. I have some idea of where we are. Yeah, we're in the middle of the ocean. Anyway, where would you like to go? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Good grief. Where's the closest village to where we are now? Hmm. Let's see. Those waves are getting loud. I suppose just swamp land. It's no village, but it's land. If it means getting off this ship, then anywhere is better than here. Great, we'll be there in no time. All right, this is it. You were right, it is just swamp land. Why must I always get my nice clothes all dirty? Hold on, who's that? Seems to me like he's a guard. Move out of the way, let me handle this. Hey, you there! Are there any villages in this here swamp? My friends here are looking for somewhere to crash for a little while. I am a member of the Valencian Guard. We have important business here. You Valencian folk are at it again, huh? Don't you worms have anything better to do than dig your noses in other people's stuff? Valencia's goals and ambitions are far too grand for you village idiots to understand. Village idiots? Or do you monkeys truly only respond to violence? Perhaps. Why don't you come closer so I can hear you better? Uh, how about you let me give it a try? If I couldn't get through to him, what makes you think you'll be able to? Nice just so happens to be from Valencia, so maybe she can talk our way into the village. Oh, really? 
I knew I recognized that accent. If it makes you feel any better, she's fairly harmless. Nice here has abandoned her mission and has no plans to hurt anyone. Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, little miss diplomat, give it a shot. Excuse me, would you mind letting me through? As a fellow Valencian, you'd let me through, wouldn't you? Hmm. Fine then, come with me. And what do you expect us to do in the meantime? Don't worry, I'll think of something. Just hang out here until I get back. Tell me, why are you traveling with such an unruly woman? She's actually my prisoner. She, along with the others with her. Huh. Impressive. I suggest you take them to Valencia to stand trial as soon as you can. You bet. Jeepers! What the heck was that? It's a creature that somehow commands dark magic. The village chief in this area requested that he take command said creature. How does he plan to do that? Through the use of this amulet. However... Your unruly prisoners put me in a bad mood. So these peasant villagers will simply have to suffer. What? What's with that face? Don't tell me you feel bad for these hapless barbarians. N no, not at all! Anyway, I'll signal for a vessel to take me off this murky swamp. If you wish, you can stow away those prisoners somewhere in the cargo hold. Hey, where are you going? And here I thought you'd leave us out here in the rain. You're back. Hold on, where'd your buddy run off to? He's... He tripped and fell in the mud. He chose to stay behind and clean his clothes off. Wow, what a sissy. If the other guards are as much of a pushover as that guy was, then Valencia isn't as big and powerful as I thought. Anyway, have you found a way into the village? Yes, but the way up ahead is all muddy, so it's best that we find another route. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. You guys go on ahead. You're not coming with us? I have a ship full of weapons that need a good home. They'll be put to good use in the hands of me and my crew. Hey, maybe we'll see each other again someday. For now, you do what you have to, and I'll do what I have to. Later. Thanks for your help, Viridian. New quest has been added. Okay, we are still our group of three and immediately into a fight with a bunch of mushrooms. Okay. Um, there it's right. I have to move that off of him and then back on. Bonk. That was a critical bonk, though. Or at least a very high damage one. Um, let's just move Nice away a bit. She wouldn't be able to get to any of them anyway. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the mushroom's a bit of a pushover. I shouldn't be surprised. Why do they have butts? Okay, I, I am surprised. Uh, yeah, mushrooms do seem like less threatening of an opponent uh, compared to bears. So, yeah. One battle stuff. Sooth Tonic. I think Sooth Tonic is the only one that's big. Ooh, got a hat. Nice. Seraph leveled up. So did Nice. I thought we were all going to be back to the same level again. There was just a dude standing over there. Uh, let's see, you don't need... You need all the help you can get. Max MP down, I'm not really using it anyway. Defense and magic defense up, that's good. Yeah, there's just a dude over here. Hold on, what's down here? A place where we can drink alcohol? Cool. Tonic shop, okay. I sell tonics! Buy some, they're healthy. I like you. Um, what does this do? Raises defense for five turns. Okay. That is one-fifth the cost of something that would just raise defense. Don't just stare at me. Drink up. I'm not going to drink anything. Thank you. Um, ooh, there's just dinosaurs here now. What is it? Are you lost? 
No, no, I'm trying to get by. So I can rob your house? Never mind. I was just trying to get by for no reason whatsoever. Completely innocent. Uh, doo -doo. I don't think there's much of anything else that we can do around here. I don't see any vines on any walls for us to hack away at. Never mind. Nope, we cannot interact with those. Lotuses are great because they float on water. You can't stand on them to stay afloat, though. But excuse me, I need to dry out my shoes. It's raining and it's a swamp. Like, I get the joke, but uh, also... Practically no reason to try. Everyone, get to safety now! I'll be the one to slay this beast. I don't know where you came from, but I won't let you harm my villagers. Ugh. Bloody hell! We have to do something! I'm on it! What was that? Is there another magic user in our village? Where did that magic come from? Who cares? It saved us all! Oh, did it now? Whoever this hero is, I hereby invite them to come speak with me in my chambers. Hi! Wow, niece, you're a hero! Oh, come on! I didn't do much, you know! I wonder what that creature was. Yeah, it seemed real scary. Maybe that man from earlier knows what it is? Oh yeah, he did say you should visit him, didn't he? Let's go introduce ourselves. We could. Or... We can look around a little bit for things that we can steal and possibly sell to people. Because I'm already regretting not having <laughs> any money. Oh, I was not going for the flowers, but nice to know things about them. I'm trying to make a living, so please be generous. I'm trying to survive. Uh, cleanse, life drain we have, heal burst, that sounds good. Spirit beams. I kind of feel like Nice just used spirit beams. Uh, as far as I know, she doesn't really have attack magic. Just the life drain thing. Clerks robes, yep, I already don't have money. That... For defensive purposes, I think it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's better to have bought the things and given those to her, but this raises attack as well. Okay, a story in soup parts. Alright, and then just that kind of stuff. Dang. <laughs> oh well. Thank you for stopping by. I didn't buy anything, but sure. Bella Vista's magic shop has been open for generations now. If you're interested in magic, this magic shop will become your second home. I am quite interested in magic. I just realized I haven't saved it in quite a long time. There we go. Um, but wah. You look like the dude from inside. Oh no, you were the other dude. I don't know what's worse, having the Valencians attack our village again or that demon bird thing. All we can do here in Barra Vista is run and hide. That sucks. Um, yeah, let's go do the things. Quest complete. So, you've arrived. Are you the heroes that saved our village from that creature? Oh, I wouldn't say we're heroes, but we're always happy to help. What would you say to a feast? Commemorate your victory. That's nice, but I'd rather you introduce yourself first. Ah, uh, do forgive me. I am Desmond, the chief of Barra Vista Village. And this young woman next to me is Solaris. It's a pleasure to meet you. Why don't you make yourself useful and prepare the meal, would you? And do try to make something palatable this time. Right away, sir. Wow, is she your maid or something? Man, I sure do wish Nice would cook for us. Don't even think about it. Well, according to what Cosette said, she can barely cook for herself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Well, Solaris isn't what you typically call a maid, but she does live to serve. Not often you find someone so wholly devoted to their village, you see. Speaking of, where might you three be from? The table is set. Oh, splendid. Come, you three. Follow me into the dining hall and I'll formally thank you over dinner. Okay, but you're a little creepy, man. Uh, Alucard learned Blade Flurry. Nice. Wow, you made all this, Solaris? Well, you and your 
your friends did save our village from that monster. So the least I could do is prepare a proper meal. Oh, would you just look at this spread? It's just like back home! Is it just me or is it cold in here? Solaris, would you be a deer and cast a fire spell on that furnace over there? Well, do you intend on making my guests and I freeze to death? I don't think I can do it with everyone watching me. How do you plan on lighting the furnace without a match? I'm a mage. A paltry excuse for one at that. A mage? What's that? Mages are people that use their magic for destruction. Us clerics and mages aren't really best mates. So we tend to avoid each other. You needn't worry about Solaris. She couldn't hurt a fly, no matter how hard she tried. Why don't you leave us and go elsewhere to practice your magic? And don't come back until you've improved your skills. Or at least until you're able to light a furnace. I don't mean to get in between your family affairs, but don't you think that was a little harsh? Solaris has a responsibility to defend our village. The Valencians many years ago came to our little village uninvited and wreaked havoc in search of something. Many mages like Solaris perished during the resistance against them. As she was but a child at the time, Solaris was left in my care. And as I am still the girl's overseer, it's obvious that her parents never returned. So Solaris is the only mage in this entire village? That's right. I do hope you can see why I was so strident with her earlier. So what about that monster that attacked the village earlier? Are you going to make her fight that thing too? Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't allow myself to put Solaris in danger like that. When it strikes again, I'll be the first in line to stave it off. Oh, how noble of you! Either way, if creatures like that are roaming the place here, it would be nice if we could get our hands on some new weapons. Ah, yes, there is indeed an armory here. Hey, Halicard, maybe we can ask the blacksmiths if they know anything about the sword from the village. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. You guys go on ahead. I'll stay behind and help myself to all this scrummy food. New quest has been added. And I'm pretty sure we are not really able to go stealing anything here. Even though that cake does look very uh, portable. And highly edible. I'm a little confused about the carpets. They... They... Are usually like squares and ovals... Rectangles, things like that, other like uh, fairly regular shapes. Um, unless they're using magic to craft them, it does seem like a lot to make them into a thing like that. Ooh, free stuff. Puffy rice bowl parts. Physical damage up. I will give that to somebody in particular where... I don't see it. Oh, it's just the parts, right. I'd have to go craft it myself. But there is a place that we can go do that. I do also need to figure out where the armory is. It's not this. I know that. Let's not go this way. Yeah. Um, let's see. That is the magic place. That's where I can go do the rice bowl. I'm also thinking I should probably save it again sometime soon. Just for reasons. Uh, doo -doo. There you are. I'm going to use it. I'm going to give that to Seraph because Seraph's identity in the team right now is damage. Uh, has the lowest defenses, doesn't have any kind of healing spells or anything. So I'm going to go with buffing up his uh, strength as much as possible. Let's see. This is... Oh, I was stuck on a flower. Bolted shut. This is not the place I need to be. I think I have a vague recollection of where I need to go, but I don't know where it is. Or at least what kind of place I need to go. I think there was like a stairway that I wasn't super clear that it existed. Do you think Desmond is looking for a wife? Nah, I doubt it. He's too busy yelling at some kid. 
Um, let's see. Is it this way? There is stuff here. That's not a sword. That's more like a other thing. That looks like a hammer. Smithy place? Are you Barrow Vista's blacksmith? Desmond warned us of the monsters here and suggested we have new weapons forged. Also, I'd like for you to look into something for us. Where could they be? They're not here either. Didn't you hear me? Are you the blacksmith or not? You're not ignoring us, are you? Hey, watch where you're going. Huh? How'd you get in here? I thought I locked the door. You must be the ones that stole my precious ores. What are you going on about? We just got here. And we definitely didn't take your ores. Well, someone did. And I can't make weapons for our village without the proper ores. I mean, you saw that bird thing that attacked the village earlier, didn't you? So you're the blacksmith then? Not for long, I guess. The name's Tobias. If I don't make weapons soon, then we'll be toast if it attacks again. That's terrible. If that's the case, why don't you let us gather those ores for you? You'd really do that? Not for free, of course. There is a certain weapon that I'd like for you to examine for us. Hey, as long as you grab those ores for me, I'd even forge weapons for you guys. Great. Now, where are those ores anyway? The carbuncle den, just north of here. The carbuncles have the ores I need hidden on them somewhere. So try defeating a few of them and come back to me as soon as you can. Okay. New quest has been added. I'm ready for it. I think I know that was... The carbuncle den was the place that I... That I wasn't going to go yet. Why are you got to block that right now? What? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Was it really? Okay. Okay. I've experienced this in a game before. Okay. Got it. But it's been a long time. I feel like I just saw somebody walking on a wall up here. Or no, it must have been the bug. Never mind. It looks kind of like this lady's skirt. And it was, it was over the uh, hieroglyphic looking stuff over there. Okay. Nothing to be weirded out about. Let's go fight us some carbuncles. That's uh, terrifying. Let's see, where all do we need to go? I don't think we can go in here. It's locked. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Just up here somewhere? Uh, those are mushrooms, which is not what I'm after, but... That is okay. I kind of, but... Uh, eh. I was going to say, I kind of want to move the my two people closer together so they can back each other up, but... I I don't really see a reason to do that. They're so far away from each other. There we go. Finish the thought. What? Don't cast spells at me. That's rude. Get bonked. Um, right. No, 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 no. It's a little confusing because it pops up with the, the blue area you can move to before you click on the character, but then when you do, you can actually move. So I didn't realize I hadn't done the thing. There we go. Turn in. Yes. No, don't do that. All right. Zero damage is fine. Burning is not fine. Uh, you don't have any... It's... Uh, yeah. The fact that the skill is random, I'm not thrilled about that. I don't like the random stuff, and you have so far you would have to go. Well, I guess we can just move you over that general direction, though. Okay, took no damage, but still burning. How close can you get? Not quite there. You... yeah. Okay. Flame droplets, alright. Alucard leveled up, that's good. Level ups are always good, and this lady just stood somewhere. She hid, and uh, chose not to help us. I see how it is. <laughs> We're gonna save your village, and you're just gonna hide from enemies. Oh, you're talking to me? That's wonderful. I could always use a new friend. Um, cool. Oh, come on, go the other way. If you want to be my friend, 
Good, good, all right. Oh, Seraph has cooled down. You were still burning. Good to know. I have a feeling that we're close to the carbuncle den. Let's keep moving forward. Uh, well, we can't move just forward. We have to move more than one direction to get there. That looks good enough. There are some kind of, like, gems or something above the door. It almost looked like a dream catcher with gems in it, but... Could not see it super clearly. It was dark. That's a lot of damage. Is that even a critical hit, or are you just hitting that hard now? Uh, you almost certainly not going to be able to clear, kill this thing in one hit. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> Another one that's doing that? Alright. You go ahead and finish that one off, hopefully. Yeah. And I really want to get... I want to get Seraph over there for this. I want to see how much damage Seraph is doing. Alucard can't cast spells. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've been getting critical hits or not. I'm. Yeah, I will go ahead and give a bonk. It won't be enough to do a kill. It's a, it's a low chance anyway. Ooh, you are just taking the damage though. Okay, what is your... 170 minimum? Okay, yeah. So Seraph just hits really hard. And that's perfect. Appetite Ore, Ruby Ore, Amber Ore. Seraph is now level 6. Cool. Finally caught up to other people. It looks like we have all the ores Tobias has asked for. Then let's make our way back to the armory. Absolutely. Um, I don't think I really need to rest. I can just throw apples at people. That is not the one. I'm used to items being the top option in a menu. I did realize that in the off-camera playthrough, too. It, it kind of throws me off that Journal is at the top. Also, Seraph has more HP than Alucard? I didn't realize that before. I think Alucard's defenses are still a lot higher, but... Uh, maybe I need to redistribute some of these food items. Alright, where did we need to go? Does this place have... No, I don't think there even are signs to tell us where to go. Yeah, that's right. I remember you. Just wanted me to hang out around here. Uh, doo -doo. Not that I would be... Can I afford anything? I have 339 gold, so I doubt I'd be able to buy any weapons. Quest complete. Wow, that was fast. You have the ores, right? Will these do? Huh, let's see. They're perfect. Are you going to be able to make those weapons for your village now? Yes, and it's all thanks to you two. For all I know, you might have just saved our village. Now that you have our ores, you wouldn't mind looking to this blade for us now, right? Sure thing. Let me just give it a look-see. It's from our village. It said that this weapon was used to slay a witch over a hundred years ago. Sorry, but not even I have seen something like this before. But if you look closely on the hilt, there seems to be a socket or chamber there. So you're saying that something's supposed to go in it? That's what it looks like to me. You know, Valencia has been collecting old weapons like this one. Ones that were once used to slay witches. Yeah, we're aware. I'm sorry that I couldn't help you further. But what I can offer you is my weapons catalog. This catalog contains all the forging instructions I currently know. If you want me to fix something up for you, just head on over to that anvil over there. If you don't mind gathering any more materials, I'd gladly craft weapons for you both. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Well, we do have some stuff. Uh, where is the anvil? Is this what you're calling an anvil? Yes, it is. Um, I am missing... Well, foreboding greatsword, that sounds pretty good. Well, I mean, it sounds bad, that's what foreboding means, but I, I like it. Uh, plague droplet, I do have 
fire droplets, which I don't see as a an ingredient. Ah, of course. So I can make one of these, and that's the only thing that I would be able to craft right now. That's a lot of wood for a great sword. It would probably only be in the handle. All right, let's see if this is for you. Oh, and the scythe. <laughs> okay, the scythe would be higher luck, but lower attack. All right, that's cool. It'd be nice if I could break things down as well, especially since I don't have money. But let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm not wanting you to, yeah, make anything. I wanted to be able to do uh, stuff. Let's see, let's see. Where's just a place I can sell some things and see how much money I have to work with? Welcome to the jewelry store. Okay, um, cool, but still keeping that. There's really no reason to, Never mind. I'm not gonna go trying to poison things. Medium armor, enchanted cape, and extra bandana. Do I need the bandana? These jewels may be precious, but they're nothing compared to a loyal customer. That is... Probably true. Uh, no, I didn't need the bandana. Can you the medium armor? You can, but I don't think you need it, really. I'm surprised you are able to. All right, uh, I'm not gonna worry about accessories. There is one more thing that I wanna do, and then I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I don't know how much more story there is. There is something I wanna do that I put off for a reason. Speak to Desmond. Desmond is not the one I want to speak to right now. But I may have to if there's a cutscene. Yep. I must say, you clerics sure are voracious eaters. You're welcome to feast here anytime. Wow, thank you! Take a good look, Solaris. Improve your skills as a mage and perhaps you'll be rewarded as well. Oh, you're back! Did you manage to find out anything about that blade? We didn't find out much. Oh, that's unfortunate. Solaris, do you know anything about old weapons? We'd gladly use any and all information you might have. Solaris frankly doesn't know much. It would be best if you searched elsewhere for the answers you seek. Yes, he's right. My only duty is to protect Bar Vista Village, so I cannot help you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Where is she going? As I said earlier, Solaris's job is to defend our village from outside threats. She's always on patrol, doing her duty. But now with that blasted creature terrorizing our village, I fear she might be in danger. Why can't she go off on her own? She's not as proficient in magic as those before her were. It's tiresome enough having to use her lackluster abilities to defend our village. If Barra Vista is in danger, then we have to bring her back here. We'll bring her back, but in return you'll have to arrange for us a boat to take us off this island. You wish to leave Barra Vista? No offense, but we came here to uncover the secrets of this blade, not sightsee. There is nothing here for us, so we have to leave. I can tell that your cleric friend here has such a fine grasp of her magic. If she were to stay and act as our village doctor, we would have no need for Solaris. Sorry, but I'm not a big fan of the rain. And besides, if I were to stay here, then who would patch up my friends when they get hurt? After hearing about what Valencia did to you and your people, I can't imagine myself going back there anyway. I see. We'll do our part and bring Solaris back to the village. Once that's done, we'll be on our way. Okay. So I... maybe? Where is she? Is she in here? Yes. Would you mind doing something for me? It's super important. What seems to be the problem, niece? I'm looking for something. Something really important. What is it? Let's not talk here. How about we meet up at Calamari Pass instead? New friendship quest has been added. That is what I wanted. And he is going to hang out back there, Seraph is. And I think, yeah, <laughs> you, you are now in two places. I bet that feels uncomfortable. Um, ooh. Hey, it's a letter. 
Well, what does it say? I'm not touching it. It might be a trap or something. Fine, I'll read it. Hmm. It seems to be from that Solaris girl. It says that we're supposed to meet her at some ruined settlement. A settlement? That's right. It seems to be left over from the time when we were invaded. I can explain the details to you later, but for now, let's meet up with Solaris. New quest has been added. Hopefully, I can still do all the things that I wanted to do. Starting with getting you all. Oh, man. I don't have a lot for you, do I? The enchanted cape is good. Mage's robe is better, I believe. Let's double check. Yeah. And no other accessories. Cool. So I want to go do this friendship quest. Ah, that the I is capitalized over there. Uh, small mistakes. Meet up with Nice. But she's in the party. I don't remember where exactly I need to go. This is Calamari Pass. Never mind. Great, you're here. Okay, let's go. Absolutely. Let's start with that cabin. Start what exactly? Where are you taking me? Yep, yep. It has to be around here somewhere. Stop standing around and help me look, would you? What's going on? The flowers! The ones in my hair! They're dying. Dying? Going extinct, rather. What makes you think they'll be here? When I was in school, a few of the books mentioned that these flowers are native to Barra Vista Village. But ever since we've gotten here, I haven't seen a single one. I see. I just want to see if they're really here. So please, help me look! Okay. Uh, Spirit Beam's Tome. That is very nice. Let's go ahead and use that. Cool. And I imagine the notes once on this paper must... Oh yeah, have been lost to time. Hey, there's a ladder here. It looks like it leads to some sort of basement. Let's go then! Golly, what kind of place is this? This looks to be the cabin's basement. I didn't know people in this village had basements. How come? Considering you live in one and all. Let's just find your flower. Wait, he lives in a basement? Also, in a swamp, it's not a good idea to have a basement. Like that old talisman. Yeah. Uh, not something I can actually do anything with, I don't think. Old talisman, yeah. No one has use for it now. It must be a crafting thing. Which I am always for crafting things. Is this it? Does that look like red to you? What about this stuff over here? Do you really not know what red looks like? Are you stupid? Or maybe you just have vision problems. You know, I'm starting to regret helping you. Maybe once we find these flowers, I'll fix your vision. Fix? What do you mean, fix? I can see just fine. Sure you can. Back home in Valencia, we had cures and tonics for almost every ailment. But after hearing about what took place here in this village, I dread to think of the means how we got that medicine. These flowers in my hair are said to have come from this village. Everyone back home wore them as accessories. So what if they came from this village? What's the big deal? Oh, I can't go back, can I? I was going to go back because there was another door. Okay. We go only forward. Uh, and on the wall. Oop, not that wall either. There we go. Is this where those flowers are supposed to be? Yes, this is the place. How can you tell? Clerics like me can sense the presence of life. And I can tell that there are no flowers left. Not one. Don't you still have the ones on your hair? Isn't it a good thing? No, not at all. Ever since I came to this village, I've been getting strange looks from the people here. And then I realized that it's these flowers. These flowers, these accessories. I'm wearing something special to these people. 
Something that I now know that I can never get back. And now they're a symbol of Valencian atrocities against the people here. Niece, you're more than just a pair of flowers, you know. You are not the Valencian people. You're you. An individual. The actions you take from this day on can be your own. How? How am I supposed to make these flowers represent something good? That's something only you can find out. I suggest you keep those flowers somewhere safe. Maybe one day you can replant them somewhere. Who knows? And when that time comes, you'll be able to plant them knowing that they'll be a symbol of peace, not war. I can't undo the damage that Valencia has done. But what I can do is plant the seed that one day might blossom into something beautiful. I don't know when that may be, but when the time comes, I'll know it. Thank you, Alucard. Yeah, there we go. That is what I wanted to get, because this is cool. You can change your character's appearance. We give it a second. Bam, there she is. She's different now. And I am going to put her in the front. Look, we get a whole different costume. If you saw that earlier when I was saving for the first time, I was like, oh no, I just showed that there's a different costume. Uh, but I was saying it quietly in my head. <laughs> but yeah, there are costume changes. The one that I, the, the friendship quest that I missed earlier with Seraph did not have that kind of reward, but this one does. And I, I really like the look of this. I like the other one, but I think the hairstyle works better on these. That is purely personal preference, though. Um, some old talismans, not a big deal. Okay. I'm going to wait for the old talisman to go away because we're going to change... There we go. We're going to change screens a lot. As we saw earlier, it kind of sticks around if you don't wait. Uh, and I did run into a bug when I did this off camera. I'm going to end basically now. <laughs> Let's go somewhere that's not in the rain, at least. I'll go back to uh, where I'm supposed to be. Anything happen when I walk in? No. Okay. Ah, he came at me aggressively. Um, what about in here? It looks like you and Nice are doing something important together. I'll wait around here until you're done. I would hate to get in the way. Yeah, uh, this is the problem I had with this one. Search rooms. It's kind of stuck on this. Uh, before I did not return the ores before coming back and getting this quest and I got locked out of continuing the story in any way whatsoever and now I think it's doing it again so I'm not going to save it <laughs> well I can't actually I will save it uh, even though I'm stopping don't let that habit go away of saving the game yeah uh, two hours my my throat is starting to do the things so I'm going to, to end the recording there. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this game. I know I, I meant to, to give to say all the things while I was doing things. I hope I said enough of them. Um, but I, I really like the mapping, aside from a couple things, like the carpets don't entirely make sense everywhere, even though I, I like the presence of them. Uh, and I like the, the foot chip changes. That's that's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good little detail to give in. Wow, it took me so long to remember the word. I really like the characters. I, I like that there is voice acting. I don't know why this time in my off-camera playthrough I did hear Nisa's voice at some point, a little bit. I know she has an accent and I was not going to try to recreate that because it's not something I'm good at. But um, yeah, uh, I really look forward to finding out when or er, hearing the voices when those things come in. Uh, the lines get added. Uh, I think the characters are really cool. I think the story is interesting. Uh, there are a few things where it's just like, there's a little bit of wording that's a little bit... Wow, I said a little bit twice. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, there is Some of the wording is a little bit awkward in the dialogue. There are things like, you know, a lot is two words. There's a couple places where it feels like something got repeated. I can't remember exactly where that was. Um, yeah, even including spots that have already been voice acted and are in here. 
I did notice a couple of places where the, the wording is a little bit awkward. So some of that could have another look taken. Is that the way to phrase that? Seriously, it's so late. I haven't eaten in so long. And there's food right there on the screen. Um, yeah, I like the systems. I like the crafting uh, of foods. I like that you can just raise stats if you want to. Uh, I probably should have saved it to buy armor, but my off-camera playthrough, I did that werebear fight. It it was brutal. I had not raised stats at all aside from equipping new armor and, and things like that. Uh, and Alucard did just get one shot by the werebear and uh, actually, and also died in another fight earlier on in the off-camera playthrough. I can't remember which fight it was, but it does feel like the damage is kind of high unless you go and do the food stuff. So I, I would think maybe balance that a little bit, uh, be a little more gentle, because not everybody's going to immediately go and do food things. I didn't the first time, and I only did this time because I had a prior experience. Yeah, I like the music. Um, I like the artwork. I like the... And now I can't go in and show it. I, some of the, whatever you call them, busts, I think it is, when you're doing the dialogue... Uh, it looks like some are still RPG Maker art, but there are custom ones. I know Nice, it looks custom. I can look at this. Yeah, like Alucard's looks like RPG Maker. Not entirely sure if it is. I'm not super <laughs> experienced in these, but I think it is. Nice is definitely something custom. And I, I really like that. I like the direction that these things are going. And yeah, I'm trying to think of more things. I don't know if the text needs to be italicized. Uh, it's something I don't really hear people talk about. This game, it's not a, a big deal. I think the, the font choice and whatnot was good. I don't think people talk about fonts and stuff when they're reviewing the games too much, unless maybe if there's like a big issue with it. Uh, because of the, the needing to read it quickly and do what the voice acting kind of stuff that I do, it is more noticeable. Uh, having them be uh, this is like a, a solid base font the italicized makes it a little bit harder to process quickly but overall i good choice on, on making it keep it simple and and easy for people to read quickly otherwise it can even when i'm not doing this kind of thing when i'm just playing a game it can take me out of the game if i'm needing to go back and reread a difficult font good choice in this one i said good mapping already uh, I like the layouts of the places. Things generally make sense. Uh, the signs that were in the first village that I totally remember the name of. My brain isn't just dissolving right now. Um, the signs could have a little more clarity and where things are. And the layout of this village here in the swamp, uh, it is a bit odd. I don't know why it's broken up into so many areas. Maybe that's an RPG Maker thing that you can only make them but so large. No, I have seen bigger. I don't know, it's just, you kind of have to go through a bunch of random places to get where you need to go. And it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Like, there is a place where you can go and get your weapon forging stuff done. And there is a an accessory shop next to it. But in a completely different part of the village is the magic shop for some reason. So I think the, the village could be laid out better. And I don't know that it needs to be multiple maps. Um, I'm not sure what purpose that serves other than the couple areas where you get into a fight in the village. And I'm not really sure why those fights exist. The first one kind of, but it does seem like in both instances, there's just mushrooms hanging out where people live and would pass through. So I don't know that those need to be there because people would probably have taken care of that themselves to keep the village safe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's everything. If I think of anything else, I will certainly put it in the description. Um, trying to be as thorough as I can. Yeah. I think that's all of it. Nistev did a good job. Uh, I'm going to put the link to the itch page down in the description. Um, 
and to the Twitter for the game, uh, which I think is just Witch Slayer Genesis. I will make sure to double check all the things. And yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. If anybody else has a game you want me to take a look at, just let me know. Uh, it's It's been a while since I've done one of these because of how much more time they take. I did have time to do that this week, though. Or, well, I made time. I'm not doing my normal Friday episode of other stuff. And, um, yeah. yeah. If nobody else has anything they want me to look at specifically, then I, I'll be going back to the indie hiatus for a little bit. I'm going to be coming back with streaming probably on Fridays. Uh, once I, I get a behind-the-scenes thing set up for, like, channel membership benefits and whatnot, custom emojis and badges and stuff like that. I'm, I'm working on those, but I'm going to set aside dedicated time to get those sorted out. And once that happens, I will find a good time, probably Fridays, to stream in the RPG stuff. So that'll, that'll cut down a lot on the, the time that I need to do. And also, I'll be able to just talk with you guys directly when I do that, which I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to go find food and stop talking for a while. So thank you very much for watching. I do really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, the liking, subscribing, Patreon link in the description, link to the second channels down there, and I will see you in my next video. Later. <laughs>